Hi there! Today to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at some fun hands-on activities that you can use to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I have a lot of hands-on activities that you can use that would be perfect for centers or your small group, and I have an activity that you can use for your whole group time. So let's get started. Today for whole group, we're going to play the game Mingle. Mingle's great because you can use it for any skill and you can use a variety of materials to play the game. For today, we have cards that have numerals on them and tens frame and double tens frames. Each student is going to get one card. They wanna put it in front of their chest. And when you say mingle, they all go mingle, mingle, mingle and walk around and they're looking for their match. So this student would be walking around and looking for the number 14, the student that's holding this card. This student would be walking around mingle, 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 looking for the student that's holding the 14 on the tens frame. Once they find their match together, they sit down and wait for all the students in the class to find their match. At the end, you can have them stand up, say their number, or you can just collect the cards, play again. My students love this game, so you might be able to play it a few times um, to keep them engaged in the activity. So our whole group activity is mingle and give it a try. This activity is dab at T numbers. The directions say identify the number in the clover and dab all the representations of the number in the circles. That's if you print this on white paper and use a dabber to find all the matching representations. For this one, I've put it in a plastic sleeve so we can reuse it. I have these mini erasers that I got from Party City. So I wanna identify the number 17, find all the ones that match and cover them. They'll go through, count them, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. And they'll continue until they find all the representations. For Feed the Leprechaun, you want to read the card. It tells you how many you need and what color pom-pom to feed the leprechaun. So the first one, we want nine red pom-poms. You want to count up nine. One, two three, and continue until you get to nine. The next one is seven yellow. One, two, three, and you would continue and get to seven. Next one's four purple, and the last one is five blue. You wanna practice identifying the number and figuring out which color to feed your leprechaun. For leprechaun gold around the room, students are going to go around, find the card, count how many gold coins, one, two, three, and then record the matching numeral on their sheet. So letter A, and then write the matching numeral. They want to go find the next one. They don't have to do them in order, but for this we will. It is B. They want to count how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So B, find B. They want to write the matching numeral. Just a little helpful tip, what we do in the classroom is I do a hole punch so that they can just go around and hook right on so it's easy for me to move them around the room. For shamrock cup stacking, we have our shamrock cups and our cup stacking cards. You pick the card, it's five, and look at the arrangement. I have three at the bottom, so I want to pick out three. One, two, three. Once I have the three, I need two more on top. One, two, and then check to see if it matches. Three on the bottom, one, two, three, two on top, two. One, two, three, four, five. And then they'll pick the next card and continue to build with their cup stacking. Roll and race to 50 is just like it sounds. You want to roll. We're going to use our tens frame die. This one's from hand to mine going to roll and race the first one to 50. So player one will have these mini erasers, the leprechaun hats. Partner two will have the pot of gold mini eraser counters. These are both from Party City. So you want to roll. Got five. So partner one, one, two, three, four, five. Partner two rolls, one. Partner one, one, two, three, four. And you wanna continue until you get to 50. The first one to have their eraser get to 50 is the winner. 
For counting gold, this is numbers 1 to 20. You pick your card, put it down, and you want to build the matching arrangement. So it's 9, 1, 2, 3, 4 at the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 2 more at the top. 1, Two, and then go ahead and double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It matches. And then you pick your next card and build the arrangement with your gold coins. I hope you're able to find some activities that you can take and use in your classroom to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with your mathematicians. I will link below in the description any links to the materials and activities that I used in the video today. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful to you so I can create more like it in the future and stay tuned for more videos to make the most of our math block.